Now, Action 10's Cole Vaughn with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Welcome back. Check out this little girl right here. This Corgi is named Olive and she really loves the snow. Olive's owners posted this video of her jumping in and out of the deep snow drifts during a post Christmas blizzard in North Dakota just yesterday. That looks like a lot of fun right there. I think I could join Olive and jump in through the snow. No snow though for us in the coastal bend. Temperatures are in the 60s right now. We actually made it up just to the mid 60s earlier today, but that's all thanks to a cold front that moved through last night, taking us from the 70s to near 80 degrees yesterday, only down to the middle 60s for today. You see us now as the sun's beginning to set 60 degrees in Corpus Christi. All these temperatures are headed for the 50s very quickly now that we have lost that sunshine. Now we've also got winds that are blowing out of the northeast and when we're getting that north wind, that's usually an indication that cooler air is sliding into the region. Not only is it a northeast wind, it's coming in at about 15, in some cases 20 miles per hour out there at the Naval Air Station. So with that, we're get, still getting that cold air funneling into the coast. Bend. We've also seen the clouds that have taken over this afternoon, and those are going to be with us all the way through the weekend. You can see them there rising from the Gulf and over the coastal bend as we made it into the afternoon hours. So get ready for a lot of gray skies as we head into Saturday and Sunday. There's no rain coming from the clouds, but if you look well off to our northwest, we've got some snowfall up there in the Texas Panhandle as well as New Mexico. In fact, some blizzard conditions in portions of Albuquerque earlier today. Now that means temperatures are much colder up there. It's 19 right now in Amarillo, 28 in Lubbock, and not too far away from freezing for Abilene, Midland, and San Angelo. But look at how much things modify as you get down in here into South Texas. 60s for uh, the coastal bend in the brush country, and down there in Brownsville, 70 degrees right now. So a very Texas-like day across the area. But watch as some of this cooler air starts to slide down into the region. I think by tomorrow morning, Corpus Christi is looking at a temperature around 48, 49 degrees. So it's going to be one of the coolest nights we've had in quite some time and temperatures really aren't going to move much from that tomorrow. Look at what happens. 49, there it is to start the morning. But as we get into lunchtime, we only make it up 3 degrees, 52 for that afternoon high. I think temperatures are actually going to fall a degree or two as we head into the afternoon. The clouds will remain and there will actually be a chance for some light rain throughout the day. I don't expect it to last all day long, but there will likely be patches of some of that light rain developing. So you can see it here on Future Tracker. We've got the clouds tonight. We're going to keep the clouds as we head through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. Watch as there gets to be a little more moisture in the atmosphere. You start seeing some of those green dots popping up. That's just the indication that you could see maybe a little drizzle or light rain throughout your Saturday. Now I want to talk about our weather pattern that we've got going on currently. First off, you see these blue arrows here. This is cooler air from that cold front this morning that's being pulled to the south. We have that north wind in place as I was showing you. But what's going on as you work your way up in the atmosphere all the way up to say where an airplane would fly, the wind is coming from the opposite direction. It's actually coming from the south. And what happens is you can see it when we take kind of a side view of this is you have those northerly winds and then you have the winds at the top of the atmosphere that are going the other direction and they're having to go up and over over this cooler air and the north wind here at the surface. When that happens, it just causes the rising air and we start to see the clouds form and the potential for some rain. So this is going to be the pattern that we're in for tomorrow and Sunday, and it even looks like it's going to last through the start of next week. Well, now it's time for your seven day forecast brought to you by AutoNation. Announcing the AutoNation year end event. Unwrap the savings on over 100,000 vehicles, but hurry, they're going fast. So get ready for a gray and damp weather pattern all the way through Monday. It looks like we're going to see those uh, cloudy skies and the chance for rain stick around. But notice the temperatures 48 degrees is our high on Sunday. You're definitely going to want to bundle up that day as we get into Monday. We warm up just a tad to around 63 degrees when we see a cold front slide through just in time for New Year's Day. 59 and then Wednesday we're back into the 40s again drizzle only to warm up as we hit the end of next week with some 